Hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Hi. Good teacher. Hi, how is the weather over there? Is it raining in your houses? It's raining. It's raining right now, yeah. right? Yeah. Kind of heavy. Okay, and how was your weekend? What did you do during the weekend? Did you do something? Did you um, go out with your family? Did you rest? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, what did you do? Tell me. Did you eat some? Did you did you eat something delicious? Did you go to the movie theater? Hi, good evening. Hello, hello, Mr. Luis. Hello, Estela. Hello, Maricela. Hello, Liliana. Hello, hello Hugo. Let's see who else is there. Good evening, good evening, teacher. Good evening, Patricia, Jenny, Crisia, Crisia Jovelli, Crisia del Rocío, right? Okay, good evening. Okay, how, how is your evening right now? How was your day? Are you tired right now? Today is Monday, right? Today is Monday. Yes, kind of busy, right? Yeah, tiring, a little bit ty tired. But we are here one more week to finish, right? The classes for English. So we are going to practice this week. We have the midterm exam, right? Have you had midterms exams before? Yes, no? Yes, are, are they easy or difficult for you? Easy, easy, easy peasy, right? Okay, very good. So we are going to practice on Thursday, I guess that we are going to have a review of what we have studied because it's a lot of material. So on Friday, you will be able to finish um, all of the activities, the exercises, all of it, okay? So on Thursday, we are going to have just a review. If you have any question, if you want me to explain something again, we can do it, okay? So we are going to begin uh, with the, let me see, section three. If it is, I don't know if you have seen section three already, if you have studied before or... Uh, have you completed the, the exercises already or not yet? Not, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, we, are, we will try to finish them, okay? We are going to check right now just um, the grammar and the vocabulary. And then we are going to, well, you, can, you will be able to, to do the, the exercises, okay, by yourselves. So uh, we are going to have a little practice today just to involve you more in, in vocabulary, just for you to practice, for, for you to have it here. Let me see here. I'm going to share the screen and this will be the... Um, yes, this is the, the slides for this, um, for this week. I already, I, I would, I already shared this in in the group so if it is if it helps you you can check it okay if it is um good for you if you understand or if you remember better the classes in this way you can check it is in the group and you can uh, start with it now we are going to start with this one okay now uh, we are going to well this is the objective for this class build your english language skills with this lesson on adjectives and nouns. By the end of this class, you will learn how to express your opinions about houses and apartments. Additionally, you will be able to describe your house or apartment in English. So this will be related to English, right? Or I'm sorry, to houses or apartments, different areas. I guess that you already studied that in, in basic English. So you should have that vocabulary already. And also says, use evaluating phrases such as apartments are too small for pets, houses are too expensive, or houses cost too much money. Okay, so that's what we are going to study this day. Okay, so do you live in a house or do you live in an apartment? Where do you live? 
I live in a house. Teacher. You live in a house. In a house. Yes. In a house. Who else lives uh, in a house? You I live, live in a house. Liliana. Who lives in an apartment? <coughs> Somebody lives in an apartment or just houses? Because apartments are not very common here, right? Probably in big cities, they are more common in big, like, uh, for example, United States or other big cities, right? But here it is not that common, like to see like big buildings. There are apartment complexes here, uh, apartment complexes, but uh, they are not too common. It's just houses, right? Small houses, apartments, but they are really small, not like big buildings. So um, there are pros and cons for apartments. Some people say that apartments are too small for pets. Apartments aren't big enough for families. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Apartments have just as many expenses as houses. And apartments don't have as many rooms as houses. Do you think it is true or is it's not true? Yes, it is true. Okay, so you'd rather to live in a house or in an apartment or it depends. What do you think? What do you think, uh, Estela? Hi, Estela. Good evening. Is it better Good to live in? Teacher. Good evening. Do you think it is better to live in a house or in an apartment? House. Why? Because it's more uh, big. It's bigger. It's comfortable. Mm -hmm. Comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's better, it's better for me. For you, it's better, right? You have yes. more space, it's more comfortable. Yeah, and, and we are used to living in, in apartments, sorry, in houses, right, than in apartments. Okay, uh, let's see who else we have here. Olivia Osorio. Can you tell me one good thing about living in apartments. What is one good thing that you can consider if there is any possibility in living in an apartment? Hi. Repeat, please. Yeah, what is a good thing? Let's say if you live in an apartment, what is a good thing of living in an apartment? Um. A positive thing. Apartments have just a money expenses of houses. Apartments don't have as many expenses of houses. So you spend less money than in a house or more money. It is more more expensive to live in a in an apartment or in a house. In a house. In a house, right? because probably it's bigger and in apartments, probably you don't, if you don't owe uh, the apartment, uh, probably they, you don't have to pay for all the, for example, if there's something is damaged or something is not working, you can call the landlord, right? Do you know what a landlord is? Landlord? Yes, no? Yeah, the landlord is the, the owner, let's say, right, of the apartment complex, right? So you can ask for help uh, if you have any problem in an apartment. But we have uh, other opinions, right? It says houses aren't as safe as apartments. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Houses cost too much money. House, a house, sorry, houses don't have enough closet space and houses don't have as much privacy as apartments. What do you think about that? Do you think that buying a house is expensive or it's uh, cheap? It's expensive, right? It's really expensive. Nowadays, it's like $62,000 and who will pay for that, right? It's very, very difficult to buy a house nowadays. And sometimes it depends, I guess, that it depends on, on the situation, right? It can be convenient for some people. It can be 
uh, easier to live in an apartment than in a house, or probably it's the opposite, right? It depends on you on or for example, the people who you're living with, if it is a family, a big family, probably it's better to live in a house, right? So that's what we are going to study today, houses, apartments, if it is good, if it is not good, and we are going to evaluate and compare. So that's what we are going to do. First of all, I want you to tell me what is an adjective. Uh, over there, we have a uh, um, like a definition, adjectives are words that describe the qualities or states of being of nouns. For example, enormous, dog-like, silly, yellow, fun, fast. They can also describe the quantity of nouns, like many, few, millions, eleven. So uh, probably some of uh, those words are uh, an adjective, right? In your definition, or if you had to tell me what an adjective is, what is like the concept that you will say? Let's see. Let's see, um, Natalia. Are you there, Natalia? Yes. Are you there? Can you hear me, Natalia? You're not there? Probably she has problems with the connection, right? Let's see, Estela. Are you there, Estela? Estela Lara. Okay, teacher. Okay, for you, what is an adjective for you? Adjective. Yes, what is an adjective? Meaning? Yes, you? the meaning. Uh -huh, the meaning, yes. The definition. The... I don't understand. Yeah. Uh, la definición de un adjetivo. ¿Qué es un adjetivo para usted? What is an adjective for you? Son palabras que se utilizan como para describir o son como decir... Eh... Mm, para decir la cualidades o describir algo. Very good, very good. An adjective is something that we use to describe something, right? To describe the qualities of something. Very good. Now we have different uh, adjectives over there. We have beauteous, uh, cute, alluring, foxy, enticing, gorgeous, marvelous. Dazzling, classy, well formed, exquisite, statuesque, divine, fascinating, fine, magnificent, lovely, delightful, excellent, sexy, grand, appealing, fair, elegant, stunning, good looking, sightly, admirable, attractive, and hot. All of these are like very like positive. Uh, positive adjectives right to describe like the the appearance of someone right so do you have any questions about those adjectives this is just uh, a review right or adjectives do you have any questions about those adjectives no for example let's see astrid michelle can you tell me for you um, what is delightful? What is something delightful? Like, can you give me a synonym or something that is delightful for you, Astrid Michelle? I don't know, teacher. You don't know? Do you don't know the meaning of delightful? No, teacher. Okay. Somebody knows the meaning of delightful? Something that is delightful for someone who is delightful. Like charming. Encantadora. Mm -hmm. Encantador. Mm -hmm. Charming, like charming, like something lovely, something very pleasant, something enjoyable, right? Let's see. Let's see what else. Stunning. What is stunning? Can you give me the, the meaning of stunning or something like a synonym of stunning? If it is in, in Spanish, it's okay. Just to know, right? Just to know. 
What is something stunning? Stunning. Stunning. Impresionante. Impresionante. Very Impresionante. good. That is something remarkable, extraordinary, staggering, right? Extraordinary. Extraordinary. It's extraordinary. extraordinary. Yes, it's stunning. Let's say another one. Let's see. Fur. Fur is like, uh, as a verb, it's like being fair, like being justice, like just. But also fur is beautiful, right? Have you heard about My Fair Lady? That is a, a famous movie. So My Fair Lady is not Mi Dama Justa, sino que Mi Bella Dama, right? My Fair Lady. So fur is like a synonym for beautiful. Let's see another one. Ravishing is another synonym. So all of those are uh, like synonyms, right? Ravishing is like gorgeous, stunning, wonderful. So all of those are synonyms. So that is an adjective, right? We use it to describe something. Like um, this is the grammar that we are going to study here, evaluations and comparisons. And we have examples here, right? Evaluation with adjectives, apartments aren't big, big enough for families. Apartments are too small for pets. So we are describing apartments in this case. Um, also, it says apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Houses cost too much money. Also, we are describing like how houses cost or also if there are enough sp parking spaces or not. And also we use comparisons with adjectives. We compare, right? So that's what we are going to study in this class, evaluations and comparisons. Like houses aren't as convenient as apartments Houses are just as convenient as apartments. So positive or, yes, let's say like positive and negative comparisons, like alike and not alike. And we can use other structures, right? Like apartments have just as many rooms as houses and apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. We have studied nouns, like in the previous uh, week, we have studied that. Now we are go going to study um, adjectives and also nouns, right? We are going to combine them to describe apartments and houses and different things, right? Because this is just an example for you to focus on houses and apartments, but we can use it for different things. Uh, we are going to see some adjectives that we can use to describe houses, like for example, comfortable, convenient, dangerous, dark, Right. We have also expensive, huge, small, inconvenient, modern, noisy, private, quiet, safe, small, and spacious. Do you have any question about any of those adjectives? But to describe a house on an apartment, any question? No questions. Everything's clear. So you already know the meaning of all of them, right? Okay, so we are going to use synonyms, right? Synonyms with these um, adjectives. I would like you to use all of your senses because that's how you get involved in learning um, a new language. Like you can use your eyes, you can use your vocabulary, you can use your writing, right? So we are going to have an exercise right now. If you have your computer in front of you, or if you have a notebook, you can use your notebook, okay? We are going to, I will, I will give you 10 adjectives and I will give you three synonyms for each adjective. So you will just write it. And then we are going to check if you have written these uh, synonyms in the correct way. So some of them are here, right? Huge, small, inconvenient, modern, noisy. It is not nosy, right? It's noisy, right? It, it is not nosy. Nosy is a different adjective. We have private, quiet, safe, small, spacious, right? So I will give you, um, if you're ready, right? I will give you, the um, the adjective some of the some of 
are the ones that we have seen already. And then I will give you three synonyms, right? The first one is, well, well. Uh, do you have any questions about the activity that we are going to do right now? Or is clear? Is it clear? It's clear. It's clear, okay. Yeah. Now, are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, yes. I'm yes. ready. Okay, be ready to write, ready to write, and then we are going to check. Vamos a ver si tenemos los, los 30 puntos. Primero, vamos a escribir el adjetivo y después los sinónimos. Eh, prepárense para escribir. Okay. Number one. Comfortable. Comfortable. We have seen that already, right? So that is the first one. Synonyms. Three synonyms. Synonyms, right? Three. Cozy. Cozy, pleasant, pleasant, enjoyable, enjoyable. Finished? Finished, right? Okay, we are going to check right now the first adjective with three synonyms. Comfortable. Cozy, pleasant, enjoyable. Did you have the three correct or the, th the four of them correct? All of them are correct? Yes, very good, very good. Only one, only mm -hmm. one, okay. Okay, now we are checking right now how to write, right, the, 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 the adjectives. All of those are adjectives. So comfortable is something cozy, pleasant, and enjoyable. Comfortable. Number two, let's see, convenient, convenient. Now the synonyms, this, these are, these are a kind of, kind of um, difficult, okay? So pay attention, I will repeat two times only. Suitable, suitable. Appropriate, appropriate, opportune, opportune. Okay, that's it. You see, it's easy, right? It's easy. Now we are going to check. You can check right now your books or your computer. Convenient, right? Convenient, suitable, appropriate, and opportune. Okay, very good. How many did you have? The three of them, the four of them, only two, only one, the three, four of them. Okay, very good, very good. Let's see. Number three, this is the third one, okay? Dangerous, dangerous. Now the three synonyms, menacing, Menacing, threatening, threatening. And the last one, treacherous, treacherous. <laughs> okay, it's kind of difficult, but that's it. Okay, we are going to check it right now, okay? Now, the adjective was dangerous and synonyms are menacing, threatening, treacherous, okay, treacherous, very good. Okay, if you have only one, it's okay. If you have two or three, it's okay, okay? This is just for you to check, to check your listening and your writing. Now, the fourth one is dark, dark. Now the synonyms, unlighted, unlighted, unilluminated, unilluminated. And the last one is poorly lit, 
poorly lit. Okay, that's it. So we have the adjective is dark, right? Dark, unlighted, unilluminated, and poorly lit, two words, right, two words. Very good, did you have all of them okay? You have a 10? Yes, right, very good, four, three. Okay, very good, very good, no problem. Now we are the at, at the half of the exercise. The next one is bright, bright. Now synonyms. Brilliant, brilliant, illuminated, illuminated, shiny, shiny. Okay, let's see. Bright, the adjective, right? And then the synonyms, brilliant, illuminated and shiny. Very good. Now the number six, number six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yes. Expensive, expensive. Now the synonyms, high priced, high priced. Costly, costly, pricey, pricey. Finish? Okay, let's see. Expensive, high price, costly, and pricey. Those are the synonyms, okay? It's okay if you have only one, only two, because we are learning, right? We are learning right now. Okay, number seven, huge, huge. Synonyms, enormous, enormous. Massive, massive, immense, immense. Okay, finished. Let's see. We have huge, enormous, massive, and immense. We almost finished. Okay, we almost finished. Just three more. The next one is small, small. Synonyms, little, little, tiny, tiny, compact, compact. Let's see number eight, small, little, tiny, and compact. Okay, almost the last one. Inconvenient. Inconvenient. And synonyms are inappropriate. Inappropriate. Problematic. Problematic. And inopportune inopportune and the last one let's see let's say let's see the 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 answers okay inconvenient inappropriate problematic inopportune and the last one modern modern synonyms contemporary Contemporary, current, current, recent, 
recent. Okay, let's see. And these are the results, modern, contemporary, current, and recent. Okay, very good. How did you do this exercise? Like, how did you, like, how, how, did, how did it go? It was good, so-so, perfect, so, 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 very good. How was, yes, yes, Jenny Sanchez. How was the exercise? Como una letra todavía. Unas letras se comen, dice, okay. Entonces, no se coman las letras, por favor. Mire bien, English is kind of uh, difficult for that, right? Because it's not like Spanish. It's not like Spanish, but it's like every... Every vowel, every letter, so it's it's diff it's different, right? So let's see more um, more adjectives, okay? For example, we have noisy, that is loud, strident, rowdy. We have also private, that is personal, ex exclusive, individual. We have quiet, silent, still, noiseless. We have safe, that is secure, defended or guarded. Small, compact, tiny, miniature, and spacious. Synonyms for spacious are roomy, large, and commodious. Okay, so do you have any questions about these, um, these adjectives or the previous ones? Questions? No questions? Okay, very good. Now, I just wanted to make sure that you understand adjectives, right? And you get involved with these adjectives uh, that are for describing houses, apartments, the place where you live, okay? So that's the, the class about. I can see that some of you are kind of writing, so I'm going to ask somebody else, do you have any question? Natalia, Carla, Patricia, Miss Griselda, Paola, is everything okay? It's okay, teacher. Everything's okay, very good, very good. So that's how we practice our writing, okay? Just to check. Teacher. Yes, go ahead, Mr. Rias. Hey, uh, when the, the example, save your synonymous, Security, defender, word don't change where when the the past tense or change the future tense. Very good, very good uh, question. Okay, so future tense, past tense, these are for what? For verbs, right? Verbs yes. like run or eat, drink. We use present, past, future, all of that. These are adjectives, right? Okay. All of them are adjectives, no verbs. No verbs. Okay. All of them are adjectives to describe people, to describe things, right? So all of these are just to describe adjectives. We don't use tenses for adjectives. And also we don't pluralize adjectives. So we are going to continue with the class. Um, these are formulas, okay? Because as you can see in the platform, they use a lot of formulas because it is kind of easier. It's a way to understand these kind of sentences. So for you to practice and practice and practice, if you want to uh, write different sentences, this is a way that you can do it to follow structures or formulas. And we have evaluations. First of all, we are going to um, I'll talk about evaluation, okay? So for evaluation, what is an evaluation? Evaluation is the making of a judgment about the amount, number, or value of something. An assessment, it's una evaluación, evaluation. We can use the verb to be in negative, to evaluate something negatively or positively, right? It depends on the sense of the statement. And we are going to use a lot this word, enough. What is the meaning of enough? Sufficient, that is another synonym, but it's suficient or that's sufficient. Yes. So evaluation with adjectives, um, we use this 
let's say formula. So first is subject plus verb to be plus adjective plus enough plus complement. So in this case uh, or in these examples, we are going to see just the verb to be in negative, okay? But we can use it in, uh, in positive also. And it says apartments aren't big enough for families. So it's the same structure for each sentence. Apartment subject, verb to be in negative, right? Aren't, adjective, big, enough, plus complement. So enough is to evaluate. Algo que no es lo suficientemente, lo suficientemente grande, lo suficientemente iluminado. Uno ve las cosas y evalúa, ¿verdad? Que no es lo suficiente para lo que estoy buscando o es lo suficiente. Si yo cambio la oración a positivo, por ejemplo, apartments are big enough for families. Estoy diciendo que es, los apartamentos son suficientemente grandes para familias. So I'm evaluating in a positive way. Es positivo. So it can be positive and it can be negative. It depends, right? And in the following statements, we have apartments aren't spacious enough for families or apartments aren't big enough for families. So we use synonyms, right? We can say, we can say the same thing with different words, synonyms, okay? So this is just a formula with enough, suficiente. If it is big enough, if it is spacious enough, etc. Also, um, in a negative way, we can say apartments are too small, too small for families. Also, we use too. Too, um, as an adverb, it says here, too is used to describe something that it's in addition, furthermore, moreover. Too is like an excess, es demasiado, too, right? Enough is sufficient, es suficiente, es, es, está bien, ¿verdad? But too is like in a negative way, es demasiado. Too small is too small, muy pequeño, demasiado pequeño. So always, if we use too with an adjective, it's like too small or too big, too noisy, right? It, it, it's like a negative connotation. Okay, do you have questions about these uh, formulas? Questions? Andrea, Carla, Olivia, Patricia, Crisia, Balmore, no questions. Okay, everything is clear. No. Okay, good, good. Yeah, because... Formulas para positivo serían? Oh, it's the same formula because here it, it doesn't say if it is negative or, or positive. Es la misma fórmula. Solo que el que el verbo tuvi es el que cambia. Estela, recuerde, ¿ok? Aren't es, ya ahí dice que es negativo del, del verbo ser o estar, ¿verdad? El verbo to be. Y aquí abajo también está la afirma, es afirmativa, pero está diciendo que es demasiado pequeño. The apartments are too small. So it's the same order, the same one, ¿ok? So it can be negative, it can be positive. Now let's continue with more formulas. This is... Um, this is with negative, but we have seen here before we are we were studying the verb to be, right? Verb to be, we studied it like separately because it's, it's kind of different, right? We don't use the auxiliaries, right? Don't, didn't, with the verb to be, we don't use them, okay? But with other verbs, we do use them. For example, we can use over here, it says we can use done in negative statements. If we use other verbs, then the verb to be. We don't have enough space for pets, for example. Or we have the formula here. It is subject plus verb plus enough plus noun plus complement. And we have an example. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. So apartments is the subject. Verb don't have, right? It's negative. Enough. Parking spaces is the noun and complement uh, as in the platform they were explaining there can be for people, right? Or more words. And also a sentence uh, can be without a complement because those are th that's extra information. So that is the formula. Remember that with other verbs, we do use the auxiliary don't, right? Or doesn't. 
with the verb to be, we don't use it, okay? We don't use it. And another one is here, houses cost too much money. Also, we use too much with, um, with positive statements, right? Uh, positive sentences. It says houses cost too much money, right? The subject, the verb, and too much. And then um, it can be the noun, right? The noun It is in this case, noun. So we are um, evaluating using nouns and also using adjectives. Have you noticed that? And it says here, examples. I just can't sleep at night. The building isn't as quiet as our old apartment. Well, that is comparison. And I don't like living in an apartment. We don't have enough privacy and there is too much noise. Remember when we have, uh, or when we use two, is too much, is demasiado, verdad? Demasiado, too much, and too many, right? Too many. Now we are going to study that in a in a couple of minutes. Let's see. Now we have here uh, too much, and we have here too many. Let me hear. Let me see here. Yes, we have here too much. Too much money, let's say, right? Let's see here. Houses cost too much money, right? Too much money. ¿Qué quiere decir aquí? Las casas cuestan demasiado dinero. Now, before we were studying countable and uncountable nouns, money is countable or uncountable? Countable. Countable? Uncountable. Uncountable, right? Uncountable. Uncountable. We can count bills, we can count coins, right? But not pennies, right? Cents. But we cannot count money in general. So if we see here too much, too much is for uncountable nouns, right? Too much. And too many is for countable. countable. Exactly, countable. Too many cars too many houses, right? But space is too much space, right? Too much space, we cannot count space, right? In general. So that is the difference. We have to pay attention in that, okay? Now it says here, evaluate your house or apartment using formulas, nouns, and adjectives. Make as many examples as you can to practice as much as possible. And it says, I like my house. It's, this is an example, right? I like my house because it is located in a private area, but there aren't enough buses I can take near my house. I have to walk long distances and there is not enough illumination at night. Okay, so that is a way to describe where I live, right? Let's see, who wants to share like, like who wants to provide examples like about your house, like if it is, uh, it, there is enough security, if there is enough like illumination, it is, there is a space for you, for your, in your house for, for pets. Do you have pets? Who wants to participate like sharing or evaluating your house, let's say, right? I need just some examples. Solo necesito unos ejemplos. Volunteers? Okay, teacher. Okay, Mr. Rios, go ahead. Mm. No and I like my house uh, because uh, have a, a six bedrooms mm -hmm. and a garden is uh, more large, large. Mm -hmm. and um is near to my work mm -hmm. because I walk only five minutes more or less mm -hmm. and um is uh mucho aire puro uh, um fresh air fresh air fresh air, air. air. 
Okay, and do you yes. have pets? Do you have pets in your house? In, yes, I have a, a cat and dog. What one is the name? and one. One and one, okay. What is the name of your cat? Their, their cat is uh, Michael. Michael and, and the dog, dog? is uh, Toto. Toto. Because okay. the, the father's name is uh, Coco. <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> yes. And do you have enough space? For your pets in your house yes yes because it's um seven, six six thousand a meter square square meters square meters yes. okay it's a it's a big house it's a big house yes okay, i like good. because are in the the El pueblito in the city is, is very tranquilo. It's, it's calm, right? It's calm, yes. Okay, and the city is the opposite, right? Yes, okay. Okay, very good. Thank you very much for your participation, Mr. Urias. Okay, okay. thank you. The, um, do we have another volunteer? No, more volunteers? You don't want, you're not talkative because it's Monday, right? <laughs> it's Monday. Yeah, I understand. I understand. So what we are going to do is just, just to check because I need to check if you have questions. I need to check if you have understood, if you have, um, if you can create these sentences with these formulas, right? Uh, we need to put them into practice. So I'm going to share right now just the, the link, the previous link that I shared before with the Padlet. And we are going just to write something that you like about your house and what you like about your house. Like if there's an, uh, enough space, there are enough rooms or something that you, you don't like probably because sometimes we have a lot of uh, noisy neighbors. Noisy, not nosy, right? We have nosy neighbors also, but we have like noisy or noise around our neighborhood. Sometimes it's, it's too much noise. It's probably something that we don't like when we are going to sleep, for example, etc. So I'm going to share right now the, the link. So just to check if you have, if you have understood um, how to express yourself, how to evaluate your house or how to share your, your ideas. Let me see here. Now you, you can go to this link, click it. And I want you to tell me something that you like about your house, something that you don't like, if it is too much noise, if it is safe, if there is enough security there. And we are going to read it, okay? Just for you to, to remember, or I will let you know right now how to write in the Padlet, if you don't remember. So you have to click here, right? Remember the plus sign? Aquí le tienen que hacer click. And then you write, okay, asunto. And I start writing and then publicar, okay? So I can see something that you like about your house or you don't like about your house. Okay, we are going to wait because you're writing right now. You just write something that you like about your house or you don't like, like it's too much noise. I like my house because it's quiet. Okay, so it's it's quiet, right? There is no noise there. It is quiet enough to, to rest, to sleep. I like my house because it's very, it's very beautiful. It's very beautiful because probably because there is like, it's, it's, it's safe, right? It's safe. It's comfortable, it's comfortable enough for you to, to be there. Who else? Just share your thoughts, please. And remember to use um, the formulas that we have studied, right? Like uh, there is enough parking spaces, for example. Hay demasiado, hay, hay suficiente espacio para parquearse. We can, let's see, there, there aren't, like is is well illuminated, let's say, or there is an, enough illumination there. 
let me see here. We have only two. I like my house because it's space for harden. What is harden? And my pets. How do you say jardin in English? How do you say jardin? Garden. Garden, right? With G. Garden. With G. G. Garden. G-A-R-D-E-N. Okay, I like my house because there is enough space. There is enough space for a garden and my pets. I like my house because it's very spacious. I like my house because it's too big. But remember that if we use too big, is negative. It's like negative. Uh, it's something like if I would like to have a, like a smaller house. Okay. Cuando usan too big, es como que dicen que es demasiado grande. Es muy grande y yo quisiera algo más pequeño, algo más cozy, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, recuerden cuando usen too big es algo probablemente negativo. I like my house because it is located in a public zone. That's why there are too many houses, but there aren't enough space between houses. So probably you have too much noise, right? Too much noise for your neighbors. You don't have enough privacy. I like my neighborhood because it's safe and is on the city outskirt and is near of the supermarket. It's near the supermarket too. But my house is a medium house, medium house, a medium size, right? And I think isn't enough for my family. So you have a big family probably. So it's too, too small for you, right? Too small for you. I don't like my house. <laughs> you don't like your house because don't have as much privacy. For, for <laughs> you know, do you have, Stella, what happened? Do you have a, a, a problem? Is you? Is it you? <laughs> Sorry. Es que me borro todo. Yo había escrito bastante. Really? Sorry. Yeah. So write something, something short, shorter. I like my house because it is spacious and the area is very quiet. Yes, that's something important. I like my neighborhood because there is enough parking for visitors, enough parking, very good, enough. We can use it for countable and uncountable nouns. Very good. I like my house because it's quiet. Okay, very good. Uh, remember that it's quiet or quiet. That's why I did this exercise for writing, okay? Because for example, in this in this case, or this example that says, I like my house because it's quiet. Quiet is, is wrong, right? It's, it's Q-U-I-E-T. That is the correct spelling for that word. I like my house because it's big and has many rooms and has a lot of rooms probably. And also because the neighborhood is safe and convenient. Very good. You're using the... the the adjectives. Thank you, Astrid. Thank you. Okay. I like my house. I like my neighborhood because there is enough parking for visitors. I like my house because it's quiet. Okay. I think that we have enough examples. I like my house because it's enough ventilation. Yes, that's important right now because it's really hot. Okay. It's there is enough ventilation. Enough. Remember E N O U G H without the T. Enough. Very good, very good. Thank you for your participation. Now let's see. Okay, now we just have five more minutes and I don't know, let's see here. I don't know if you have, or if you would like to have a homework do you have, do you want a homework or do you don't want a homework? Do you have enough time for doing the homework? Yes. Okay. Now, as a homework, I want you to compare your house with a friend's house. Quiero que comparen su casa con la casa de, 
alguien que hayan visto que les haya gustado, un amigo, un vecino. Y, and then you can express yourself, my house is as big as my friend's house. Uh, que encuentren similitudes, ¿ok? Try to compare it. So if it is um, convenient, the neighborhood, if it is illuminated, if it is, let's say, what else? If it is safe, right? Like this one, right? Like this example, right? It's saying, uh, like, it's talking about there is enough uh, transportation means, like buses. Uh, if you have to walk to get to your house, if you have to take a lot of buses, if you, if you like it, actually, or, and you try to compare, right? Try to compare your house with another person's house. No pude terminar de participar, dice Estela Lara. Why, Estela? We have time. We still have time. But... Estela, you're having problems, right, with the palate. <laughs> I'm sorry for you, Stella. But you can you can share it. No supe cómo escribir. Okay, when we sh we, we use the, the padlet, remember that is asunto, okay? We are going to repeat the steps. First, the plus sign. Y aquí van, de primero la crucita. Y después van a ver un lapicero. Y ahí le dan clic y empiezan a escribir en asunto. And you write your, inf your information, right? Or, or the sentence that you want to write. Like, let's say, my house is beautiful. Beautiful. And then you publish it, publicar. And that's it. My house is beautiful. You see, it's really easy, right? So this is another way to participate. This is another way for you to share your ideas, right? It says, my house is quite big and has three rooms. The patio is quite spacious. We have three parakeets, parakeets and two cats. Very good. What is the difference between patio and, and garden, right? The patio is behind, right? And the garden is in front of it. Probably can be also the in the patio, but patio is behind. It's in the back area of your house. Now, um, that is the homework for you. Remember that you have to um, you have to compare your house with your friend's house or with your co-worker's house, a, a house that you have seen before, okay? And remember that on Thursday, we are going to have the review for the, um, for, for the, for the first mid, midterm exam. Now, uh, do you have any question about the grammar or about the exercises here in the platform? I do have a question. And yes, what is the question? About the exam. Is in the platform or how is that? Uh, let's, it's the same as this uh, as these exercises. Are you able to see my screen? Uh, yeah, because I yesterday I started the section three. Yeah. But I didn't see that exam or it's the same. Yes, this is the section three, right? Mm -hmm. Section three, and we're starting, and then you get you click on next. Um and then you will be able to see the exam. Let's 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 keep on clicking because it's loading right now, it's kind of slow. I don't know why. And then you click on next and it says midterm exam. It's midterm. Ah, okay. So section okay. three, Thank midterm. You. And then we are going, this is what we are going to see uh, next Thursday. We are going to check if you have any problem, any question. Like, for example, ¿y ahí qué hago, teacher? ¿Y cómo le doy clic? ¿Y ahí qué quiere decir? Entonces, eso es lo que vamos a explicar el jueves. That's what we are going to explain on Thursday, okay? And also okay. we are going to have a review. Also we are going to have Thank a review. You. Okay, so if you don't have more questions, remember the homework is to compare your house. Yes. Thank you very much. I, I know it's kind of difficult because it's Monday and we are starting the week, but then you are going to uh, get the idea, right? Se van a ir acostumbrando durante la semana otra vez a, a las clases. But thank you very much for your effort. 
and I will see you uh, tomorrow at the same time, 7.55, okay? Coach, great teacher. Thank you very much. Have a nice, yes, have a nice evening. It's raining very hard here, teacher. Yes, it's raining really heavily. Well, Coach, do you hear me? Yes. Can I use the comparatives like uh, bigger, smaller for the home? Yes, if you know yes. comparatives, yes, you can use them. Perfect, thank you. Have a okay. nice how nice, nice. Yes, you Teacher. too. Nice. Bye -bye. Yes. Teacher. Yes, Astrid. Uh, can you repeat the, the homework? I have problem with the connection. The homework is that you need to compare your house with another people's house, another person's house. Okay, your friend's house, another house. Try try to compare it. Okay, if it is bigger or smaller, or is as safe as your house or is as beautiful as your house, etc. right? Okay, thank you. Thank you, have a nice evening. Good night, bye. Good night, bye. Have a nice evening, everybody. Thank you for coming.